Hello, today's devotional can be found in First Chronicles, chapter 16, verse 29. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. All right, God is due glory because he is the one who came up with the idea for the atonement and he is the one who sent Jesus Christ, his only begotten son, <coughs> to perform it that we might all be able to walk away from the effects of the fall and repent of our own sins when they came to pass. We bring an offering unto him by utilizing the atonement every day and giving of our time, our self, our talents, everything that the Lord has given us that we might be able to help make the world a better place or at least make our world a better place. And we should do so, and by paying homage to him, we also give him glory by going to church, taking the sacrament, doing various things, getting baptized, being confirmed, and the higher covenants in the temple, those are all bringing offerings unto him and utilizing the atonement that we might become better because we are children of God first and foremost and we are beautiful and we are all righteous and we can all aspire to become holy and we shouldn't be afraid to want to become holy because we are children of God and children of God are holy and we're also mortal and so that means it just takes a little bit of extra work I mean not everybody in mortality wants to become holy there are some who, would, who will end up doing things so terrible that they cannot become as holy as they like even with the atonement Everyone will achieve a degree of happiness, but not everyone will achieve a degree of holiness. I mean, the atonement makes it so that everyone can achieve that degree of happiness. And we should worship the Lord for that, because the Lord would rather see us happy than have all of his children back and some of his children have made and will make choices that will not make them happy in the presence of God and in the holiest eternal glory that there is because some even though they will have let go of their sins which they must in order to achieve any eternal happiness some will not be comfortable in the beauty of holiness it will be too much for them so they will desire to go somewhere where there is lesser holiness or none at all but they will be very comfortable there for they had not they will have not prepared for anything better or allowed others to help them prepare however this is in the now we are in the now we can still make a difference for ourselves. The atonement works on either side of the veil of life. We can make a very big difference for ourselves. And we should not be afraid to give the Lord glory and give him his offerings by utilizing the atonement and doing good with our lives and our time every single day of the life we have here and in, in the hereafter. We should not be afraid to come before the Lord seeking help and guidance that we may be able to direct our lives in the right way that we might be able to align our will with His and be able to receive revelation after receiving His Spirit and being worthy to do so. We are beautiful children of God. We should not forget that. We, c we are all righteous to some degree and we can aspire to be holy through the atonement of Jesus Christ. Christ made that offering of his life for us so that we could know that we're beautiful and that we can become holy as well. 
So give the Lord the glory, for he's the one that came up with the plan. He's the one that sent his son so that we could know we were beautiful and that we could be holy. But it's our choice. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And just remember that Satan doesn't want any of us to know that we're beauty, beautiful and can be holy because guess what? He gave up his chance before anyone even went to mortality. So he will never be beautiful nor holy. He wanted the glory of the atonement for himself. And the jealousy that came overcame him when Christ was picked and he wasn't, well, that pretty much destroyed his chances. Or he destroyed himself with his jealousy. But we don't have to do that. Through the atonement, we can know we're beautiful and that we can be holy. And we should aspire to do so. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.